have you on the show a lot and we, we have you talk about the things going on in Southern California. A couple of times we've had opportunity to talk to you about your personal mm -hmm. life because people come in and, mm -hmm. and you're part of that club of people that you have a child who's on the autism spectrum mm -hmm. and it's meaningful to mm -hmm. you and it's important to you and you give back. And, you know, I hadn't really thought about it before about, you know, because some of our kiddos are in places where mm -hmm. that is not something that they're going to be mm -hmm. able to do right now. And mm -hmm. some of our kiddos are in places where, you know, it's realistic to think this may not be something mm -hmm. that they ever do. And yeah. I hadn't really stopped to think about the yeah. fact that whether or not your son could mm -hmm. do that and, and to hear that maybe that's not the thing that's mm -hmm. happening, whether it's right now or forever. Mm -hmm. And yet you still find the way for the rest of our kids to do it. Oh. It just goes to show what an amazing person Jennifer oh, is. Thank you. That's truly... No, and I mean it. I mean, now you're going to make me cry. But. Well, no, I mean, no, like, but, like, I mean, no, but honestly, it's Jennifer, yeah. there's a lot of people who would just be resentful about that and mm -hmm. go, well, my, and I'm sure that there are people watching mm -hmm. you now going, well, my kid can't do mm -hmm. that. And, and I, you know, like I feel for you mm -hmm. in terms of that, yeah. but what a great example you set that you say, you know what, my kid can't do that, mm -hmm. but I took joy in the fact that other kids can, mm -hmm. and you find other things that your son can do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, Jennifer's yeah. Jennifer's fabulous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a mess. <laughs> um, no, truly wonderful. Oh, and also, you. you know, that you have gone through some other things in your life, too. I just want to oh, say, yeah. <laughs> as an example, because, you know, mm -hmm. I, I know it's easy mm -hmm. some days to sit there and think, well, you know, everything that I have is going mm -hmm. on is bad and, and I'm alone, mm -hmm. right? That's mm -hmm. where we all tend yeah. to go to. Yeah. And I'm alone mm -hmm. and nobody has it as bad as I do. Mm -hmm. And I just, you are a shining example of the fact that you're out there getting it done, making things happen for other families. But, you know, you have had cancer challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you've had personal challenges. Yeah. And you're, you know, still in a position where you've got some pretty significant challenges going on mm -hmm. with your son. And, and look at her. Look at all that she's getting done. Thank you so much. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those things. And I learned early on, right when he was diagnosed. Um, of course, I was a mess. Um, you know, scrape me off the floor, right? When right. you finally get the diagnosis, even though I, I knew for about two years yeah. and was being proactive. But I looked at it as, okay. You can either, you know, dig a hole and, you know, and, you know, just accept or really, you know, stand strong, educate myself, and then help Dylan and then help others. And it yeah. did really changed my life. And it, you know, puts things in perspective too of, you know, you don't sweat the small stuff and that, you know, you got to get up every day and, advocate and you yeah. know just try to be the best person that you can be and help others i mean that's the way i look at life well you're a great example yeah. to all of us mm -hmm.